the higher your voice is, the further it carries, the lower your voice is, the lower it carries. So usually when you have a very deep voice, you, you want to really use a mic. Yeah? Be because in hearing loss, most people use the high frequencies and the very low frequencies the first. Yeah? So if you have an audience that's 50, I would say half of them have some form of hearing loss. Yeah. It is easier if you're a coach and you're screaming at 10-year-olds uh, in the soccer team, but um, when you are communicating your engineering findings, you want to really be aware of that. That either you raise the volume tremendously, and like you said, start screaming, and if that is the way you think it is, then that's good. That's the loudness that the whole room needs, um, even while it's totally uncomfortable for you. Yeah. But that's the, the, the place where you have to be in your volume so that the room can understand you. This is not us speaking normally. When we communicate to a crowd, guess what? Three of you whisper to each other, then there's noises from, from the AC, then there's all of this noise adds to the level that you have to overcome. Yeah. So practicing that, being aware of that, um, seeing how the audience responds is a real feedback mechanism that's immediate. Yeah. You don't need a survey for that. You can just look into your audience and see how they're doing.